Welcome to Andrew Talks. I'm Andrew. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. Pen in hand. Let's go. Oh, baby. That's right. You heard me. Oh, baby. Everybody having a baby over the weekend in the beginning of the week. Kate Hudson, Victoria Beckham, Jewel, my best friend Katie, Sister Kelly. Everybody having a baby. So congratulations to all the new mommies and daddies out there. That is amazing. And to all the upcoming mommies and daddies, congratulations. And, you know, we can't wait to hear about your bundle of joy. But the baby, you know. The baby that has stolen the hearts of America right now is, well, I was going to say little Jamichael, but he ain't that little. That's right. From Texas, 16 pounds, one ounce, baby boy. Uh, I mean, he's two feet long. I, I, I cannot imagine. Can you imagine a 16-pound baby? Thank God it was a C-section. That's all you could say. Thank God. Because c pushing... I, I, I mean, you just be like, you're like ah! and they're, they're like, great, that's a great push. You got the finger out, just, you know, a little bit more. The finger? I mean, 16 pounds, and he's not even the biggest baby on record. That is craziness, craziness. So all my best to that family out in Texas. 16 pound baby. My word, what's next? What's next? You got Stay tuned, because you never know what's next, 16-pound baby. Have you heard of a 16-pound baby? No, exactly, I haven't. It's just craziness, just crazy. Moving on, I have some sad news to report. <sighs> My condolences to the state of Kansas and to the state of North Carolina, because turkeys and chickens have died by great, great numbers due to the heat. Remember last episode, I talked about how hot it was, how hot it was, and uh, I was not the only victim. Turkeys dying by the thousands, chickens the same way in the state of Kansas and North Carolina. 4,500 turkeys died at one farm and over 50,000 chickens died in a farm in North Carolina. This is deeply, deeply saddening to me because all I eat is turkey. That's all I eat turkey or chicken. That's, that's all I eat. So uh, if you are going to your local KFC or Popeyes or churches or Chick-fil-A and uh, all of a sudden the two piece used to be $2.49 and now it's $3.19, it might be because uh, of the chickens and the turkeys that died. And uh, hopefully things will bounce back. But, I mean, that's a lot for the farmers to lose that many. So my condolences to them, and hopefully they'll be able to get back on their feet. And um, all my Jenny O turkey loving people, don't be surprised at the supermarket if Jenny O go up to $5 a pound. That's right, I said, I don't know for sure. Did we check with Jenny O and the people? We did check. We, did, we haven't checked with them as of yet. But don't be surprised because, I mean, if you lose that many turkeys... There's only one thing for them to do. And in this economy, please, it's going it's to be terrible, terrible news. So my condolences to all you turkey and chicken eating people like myself. I will see y'all at the meeting. This is a horrible news, horrible news. I might have to get pork chops next time I go to the grocery store. I'm just saying, maybe pork chops, maybe. No pigs have died that I've heard of as of late. That's all I'm saying. Moving on. I don't know if you heard about the California woman from Garden Grove. But um, she's going to be memorable, and this is the reason why. And, you know, I was going to try to be sensitive about it, but I'm just going to... It's, it's you, it's me. We're on the couch this week. I mean, I figured we're friends by now. So she done cut off her man's dingling. That's right, I said it. She cut it off. She cut off her husband's pee-pee, uh, dong, wong, wang, whatever you call it, that's what she cut off. She cut it off. Well, first, she drugged him with dinner. Sort of like Earl's Gotta Die video from the Dixie Chicks. Look it up on YouTube if you don't know what I'm talking about. Then she tied him to the bed, misery style. Kathy Bates, look that up. Uh, she won the Academy Award for that, by the way. And uh, then she chopped off his member, <sighs> Lorena Bobbitt style. But what makes her different than Lorena Bobbitt and I feel like perhaps I wouldn't say better because this is a horrible thing. Don't get me wrong. It is horrible what she has done. But she took it a step further. She done threw her husband's Johnson 
in the garbage disposal. Yes, she did, and she turned it on. Yes, she did. Just, can you imagine? Just, just gone, baby. It's gone. It's gone. But apparently, she was kind enough, kind enough, to call the popo and uh, let them know where her husband was. So he did it. And apparently, he's in surgery and at the hospital. And I don't know if he's uh, how well he's doing. I mean, how well could you be doing? Now that you are, your manhood is gone. But I mean, you know, apparently they were going through a divorce, and this is just really—it's a warning to all men: don't mess up that badly. I don't know what this guy did or didn't do, but clearly it was bad enough. Not that there is any reason for violence, ladies. Ladies, there's never a reason for violence. But all I'm saying is, gentlemen, get yourself together, lest you lose your private and delicate yes indeed what are you going to do with two balls without a penis that i said it i'm sorry i apologize i apologize i don't yes from what i heard you just chopped off this anyways i don't want to get technical gray's anatomy on y'all but yes that's she did it out in garden grove she's in jail she's in jail she went peacefully to jail she's on a million dollars bail uh, i think she's gonna be there for a while but yes, indeed. Gentlemen, please get your act together because, oh, my God. And then to put in the garbage disposal. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, it's somewhat poetic because I guess she felt like he was garbage. But oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my goodness. From a 16-pound baby. And then, uh, it's, it's it's been, oh. This is one painful Andrew Talks now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. And I finally, I wanted to end tonight with a new segment I would like to call Real Talk with Andrew. That's right, Real Talk with Andrew. If I had a bigger budget or a better crew, a nice little graphic would come up right now by my head that would say Real Talk. But I don't, we don't got that. Do we? We don't got that. So instead, it'll just be Real Talk with Andrew. And what I want to talk about uh, tonight on Real Talk is people seasons and reasons uh, i'm a firm believer believer not a beaver i'm not just a beaver but i'm a believer that people come into your life for a reason and for a season so um just i hope that you know just take that to heart and so if someone leaves your life let them leave because they were there for the right amount of time and they were there for a reason now if you don't know what the reason is go back and check your notes check your notes check your notes and see why they were in your life. Everyone is in your life to teach you something. Now, if you still cannot figure it out, you can call me or email me and I will try to help you. But everybody comes into your life for a reason or for a season and you need to let them go once they are gone because what's the use of holding on to something that, that ain't there? Instead, you could be holding on to something else or someone else. Mm-hmm. Someone else. Think about it. Okay, I'm, not, I'm just being real with you. This is real talk. This is what I do. So I'm being real with you. So let go of whatever that was or whoever that was and get hip to something new. It could be new clothes, new car, new man, new baby daddy, new woman. I'm just saying, whatever it is, you know, just get ready for the good and the new and let go of the old and the bad. Who holds on to bad stuff and... Please let it go. That's what I'm really trying to tell you. Let go. Reason and for a season. I am a firm believer in that. Yes, indeed. And this is the first segment of Real Talk, but I feel so good preaching to y'all right now. I might do a second one next week. So look for that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I mean, we have covered the gamut of everything, I believe, this week on Andrew Talks. And you know what I always say. I tell you to make it great. So you have a great morning. And you have a great evening. You have a great lunch, dinner, breakfast. Make sure you eat breakfast because that's important too. I, I always forget to mention that. Make sure y'all are eating your breakfast. You can eat your breakfast while you watch Andrew Talks every Wednesday morning on YouTube on my Facebook page. But yes, indeed, always eat your breakfast. But anyways, make it great. I will see y'all next time. I hope you like the new location, trying something new. You know I love you. I will see you. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, the crew says bye. Bye, everybody.